everybody and welcome to Sheepish Lookout Audio Shield. My name is Gena and today we're playing a music rhythm VR game by the dev that was behind Audio Surf. I spent hours in that game, it was so good. This game also takes your music and generates the level according to that. Except now you're punching the notes out of the sky and it feels, in my opinion, it's even more fun than Audio Surf. So it's very self-explanatory, you just hit the blue notes with this, you hit the orange notes with this. If a purple one comes by, you put them together and it creates a shield or you can hold the triggers and do a purple thing like that as well and sometimes there's longer ones where you just got to do this and it's just super damn fun and it's a workout it's a really good workout so because i don't want to get copyright striked i'm going to stick to gaming soundtracks and probably at the end i'm just going to play my actual theme song outro uh because why the hell not it's a perfect opportunity to do so <laughs> and yeah that's basically it i'm probably not going to do much commentary because you're meant to just kind of like see how the music works and all that with the game i'm playing on elite difficulty by the way which is the hardest one the game also does give you more points depending on like how um intense your moves are you're like yeah and, like punching the notes and everything and doing big Ooh. uh this first song by the way is from the soundtrack of vvvvv an amazing soundtrack i recommend you all check it out I'm like a dj now like all right now to the music here we go <laughs> it's pretty great though So as you can see, when the chorus kind of kicks in, uh, the the system in the game actually kind of makes the notes come in from higher up, which is very, it's a very cool, like, um, it adds to the intensity of the chorus. I'm so out of breath. Uh, it, it really makes it feel like the music, oh yeah, it just kicked in, you know? And you can see here when it's quiet and less intense, it kind of, it's all at the head level. There you go, that's the purple one. That's also usually during, like, drops, <laughs> quote unquote where uh, the music kind of changes drastically, at least the tempo. And there you go. <laughs> there you have the game. Damn, that's uh, I love that song so much. And when you're done with the song, you can see your stats here. Physical activity. It's actually I guys. I have 17.76 physical activity. I wanted at least 18, but it's okay. <laughs> Max punch power. See, there you go. It kind of ooh, like if you punch a note. Uh, you can add the song to your favorite, so you can quickly find it again later. You can recommend this ride to friends. There you go. So let me just quickly show you what the main browser looks like. So you can go to recent songs. You can go to your favorites. You can go to even songs of the day. And the game will just have new songs every single day for you to play. <laughs> this one by Lucio here from Overwatch. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. You can go to popular uh, popular songs. I've played a lot of really fun stuff here. There was, of course, the Rude Sandstorm. There's Gangnam Style. There's a song from Rick and Morty. Get Swift. <laughs> I have to try that one later. And there's all sorts of really fun stuff. Through the Fire and Flames from Dragon Force is really great. And you can even enter any... You can search YouTube. You can enter a YouTube URL and find any uh, song on there, which is great. You can, it doesn't even have to be a song. You can just, like, play one of your videos. Holy fuck, I need to try that right now. Oh, yeah, let's play my sound effects. My Binding of Isaac sound effects video. It's played on Elite difficulty. Let me show you 
uh, my least favorite shield because I'm sure I'm not going to be playing this song for very long. And I'm also going to show you my least favorite level. So the cool thing about the shields is they actually have a different play style to each other. This one, as you can see, uh, the way I'm holding my arm is quite different to the other one. The other ones, I was kind of like this. Uh, there's also one more, which I'll show you at the end later on. But this one, it's like a backhand. So you're kind of meant to like smack it. I don't like it so much. And the way YouTube videos works is <laughs> you can see it right there in the background of the world. And you click play on it with the trigger. And then there you go. This is going to be absolutely awful. All right. <laughs> This is so awful. <laughs> the fucking fly spawned a purple thing. Uh, here we go. I love this part of the song. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> I'm sure you guys... I mean, hey, I that was an excuse to show off my least favorite map, my least favorite shield, and also just the YouTube player. So, hey, there was a reason for that, okay? All right, so this is a song from Crypt of the Necrodancer, amazing soundtrack by Danny Baranowski. Uh, these shields, these are actually my favorite ones, I feel like, along with the default one, the first one that I showed you. This one's just kind of straightforward. Uh, I, I like it. I don't know. There's something nice about it. But it's cool that it's kind of like there's different styles for different types of people. And this is the third map, by the way. It's uh, it's okay, but the first one that I showed you was, in my opinion, my favorite. Anyway, let's uh, click play and enjoy the music. Let's just do a little bit of dancing. <laughs> it's like we're getting ready in the club, you know? Before things get too crazy. This is the extent of my dancing skills, by the way. I'm not gonna get any better than this. So you can see that the game uh, takes a lot of the melodies and implements them into the notes, but mostly, it's mostly the rhythm, the beat, the percussion. And this game has a very like clubby feel to it. This is a soundtrack for Crypt of the Dancer, so it works very well for this game. So what difficulty affects is uh, the reason I choose elite difficulty is because it seems to be there's a lot more notes and they're a lot harder to reach in the sense that like blue is my left hand but on this difficulty blue will be on the right side a lot of the time so I need to kind of uh, see like cross my side my arms to different sides and that's very fun to me. I can't really have fun on any difficulty that's easier than this one. Alright, cool. I fucked up a really long note earlier, <laughs> like right at the end, which is very anticlimactic, but it's okay, I did it. You can see here, by the way, at the back of your shield, two consecutive hits, so it shows your hit streak. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but when I missed notes, there was like a line that followed it. So you kind of, if you're over here and then you're like, oh, why is my, why is my streak gone? Then you see that, oh, there's a line here that's indicating that, oh, I missed a note here. By the way, something that I really like about the game is I don't think there's any way to fail. I think if you miss every single note, nothing happens, which is great in my opinion. That was one very big drawback of Audio Shield, the fact that you're trying to sit there, enjoy the music, play to music rhythm thing, and then you just mess it up. And it's like, ah, 
or there's like obstacles in the way that stop the streak and it's not fun honestly this is much better you can't fail it's just try your best to hit as many notes as possible you've got a percentage you increase your score but there's no actual way to fail <laughs> so we're gonna finish off by playing with the outro <laughs> my my typical outro music it's not usually in sheepish look at because i always uh put music from the games in the outros of sheepish look at but this game has doesn't have its own music so uh this works perfectly uh, in case, by the way, I've only shown you kind of electronic, dancey music in this game. I listen to a lot of metal and rock, uh, and I can confirm that those work just as well in this game. I'm sure every other genre, I don't know about country music, <laughs> or like, I don't know, ukuleles and stuff. I don't know, I haven't played every single classical music. I mean, some like really epic orchestra stuff could be really cool, I'm sure. But yeah, I've, I've tried uh, electronic stuff, I've tried metal stuff, and that's basically the extent of what I've tried. But yeah, anything that's got kind of like at least a beat to it will work. All right, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope this video has helped you kind of get a gist of how the game works. If you want to pick up the game for yourself, there's a link in the description to buy it. And please don't forget to like and share my video if you enjoyed it or thought it was useful. And uh, now we're going to go to the outro. I'm also going to leave probably a link to the actual sound effects uh, video of Isaac in case you want to watch it properly. I thought it was a pretty funny video. I'm proud of it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, I love you!